Welcome back, Hollywood Live fans. On today's Fit Club, we talk football for seniors, sleep coaching, and more with actor and MS advocate Damien Washington. Stay tuned for more. You're tuned into Black Hollywood Live Fit Club. Hey, welcome, Fit Clubber. It is Happy World MS Day, or uh, do we say Happy World MS Day? Uh, please, MS is not a happy thing. Yeah, so uh, but it's just a, it's happening today. It's happening today. We're, we're spreading awareness, uh, and we've got great actor and MS advocate Damien Washington joining us. Thank you so much for joining please, us. Thank you for having me here, sir. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Just really excited to get all the information and like just hear about your career and what you're up to. Uh, again, guys, my name is Shaka Smith, and I'm joined by my wonderful co-host. Uh, you don't know my name? Just joking. Oh. My name is TK Trinidad. <laughs> you can call me on everything at TK Trinidad. I was like, damn. I was like, Who, whoever this chick is, just say your name. I wanted to give you an opportunity to put yourself out there. <laughs> and Mr. Damien Washington, where can they Very find you? Uh, DamienWashington.com, for sure. Um, Online? Uh, yeah. Instagram, Twitter, where? Yeah, no. Uh, excuse me. Pardon. I wasn't even prepared. My yeah. website, <laughs> DamienWashington.com. Damien with two A's, of course. Twitter. D does 57. Uh, D E E D U B S 57. And I think that's pretty much about it. No, IG? Nice. IG? Oh, yeah. IG is still Damien Washington. The two ways you're going to find Keep, me. There. Keeps it simple. Keeps it simple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is, it's supposed to be simple Streamline. to find me as a public figure. There you yes, go. Absolutely. You don't have to try too hard, sir. And speaking of public figure, I think a lot of people have probably seen you. Maybe they don't know your name, but they've absolutely. seen you in commercial after commercial after absolutely. commercial. Um, so we have your commercial reel. We got to just get it up there so people can see. Whoa. Uh, be reminded what so you know this, that now. this is me there he goes I was selling that uh, that, that hard liquor son that was one of my favorites back in the day that Mike's yeah. Hard Lemonade Mike's Hard Lemonade <laughs> yeah yeah that's me. Adult beverages, sir. Uh, Mike's, drink on the bright side. Mm -hmm. Me, I like to feel the power between wow. the nipples. You know, know that I'm going <laughs> to wow. for effort for my yes, baby. Uh, All right. Oh, nah, baby, my nipples are sensitive. <laughs> Well, hey, hey, there's still plenty of other things we can do. Wow. <laughs> uh, you know, I'll give them a round of applause. You can do it all. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We do it together. I love this new place. Yeah, it's nice. We're happy. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what? This is uh, Oh, that's great. <laughs> house, but I love her. That was the banks. With more yep. homes for sale, updating in real time. You that's found still on it TV? before he could. Sorry. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to Carlos. <laughs> also, Yama is the heaviest Japanese human being in recorded history. You're not, no. You're not gonna wrestle this guy. Oh, well, not him. This the other guy. Oh. <laughs> the other massive wow. man. Just trying not to fart in the ring. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that man is like 300 pounds <laughs> and did that with ease. Uh -uh. I successfully didn't fart my pants, but I totally shit my pants. I gotta go. Got a rollerblader meeting with Ashton Kutcher, Elizabeth Warren, and one of those dudes that drive the bang bus. <laughs> Later! <laughs> Was he wearing rollerblades when he came in? Yeah, so that's, that's what I do, sir. Wow, that's, that is brilliant. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Uh, so, so you're having this brilliant career, you're out in mm -hmm. LA, um, mm -hmm. and then you get this diagnosis of MS. Uh, and speaking of World MS Day, I think a lot of people don't know exactly what it is. Okay. Um, it's an autoimmune disease that yes. affects the central nervous system, but yes. exactly tell us a little bit more. So, a multiple sclerosis is when the uh, immune system decides to start attacking your body. So right now my body is eating my brain and my spine. Uh. As we speak, it's what it's doing. So those sclerosis is um, when the immune system t attacks it is... Um, it, when the immune system attacks the body, mm -hmm. that's the sclerosis, the scars that it leaves on oh, okay. the brain and the spinal cord. Mm -hmm. And because there's a lot of them, multiple sclerosis. Uh, I say that they have they ran out of names at the disease naming factory that day, <laughs> and we have multiple sclerosis. And it. Yeah. For some odd reason, your immune system thinks that your brain and your spine are foreign and yeah. tries to get it out. And it's not good. <clears throat> Jeez, and, and you've maintained just, uh, I guess, a comedic and happy outlook throughout oh, yeah. this entire process. Man, the holding that dog and yeah. trying to walk in a straight line, <laughs> that was the, the biggest feat ever. That's why it's like, yeah, no, pay me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That I made that look simple, yeah. like it's supposed to, like a regular person. And in a lot of ways, it's like, no, I'm not a regular person anymore. I have this thing. But I turned that into a positive. I have this thing. Yeah. Right. 
cool. Well, doesn't it also connect to like as far as the way your outlook on on life? Wouldn't it kind of connect to the longevity of it versus somebody who doesn't yeah. have a good outlook? It when when you hit a health wall at such an early age, it sort of resets what your goals are, what you want to be doing with your life, mm -hmm. because you're not going to age like you think you're going to age or like you thought you were going to. So it really gives you perspective on what you want to do with your life. And so I guess that sort of answered that question, right? Yeah, and, and I know we had talked a little bit about how you kind of change your diet as yep. a result of this. And I, and I guess I know food can actually play a part with our mood and like making sure that we're not depressed and mm -hmm. kind of elevating our mood. And kind of our first story talked about can you know better eating prevent uh, or treat a lot of health issues. And I, I think we talked last week about the study they're doing out of UC San, San Francisco where they started treating people with type 2 diabetes, um, and HIV with food and nutrition guidance. And they found that it actually helped with their treatment and lowered um, the amount of money they were, were having to spend per the patient. What, with your relationship with food, how did it change with your diagnosis and have you seen improvements? Absolutely. There comes a point where you understand that there's nothing outside of your body except for air, water, and things that come out of the ground mm -hmm. that are going to contribute to your wellness. Yeah. No pill, no who sort of what anyone can give to you uh, to make you feel better. And a lot of the stuff that we eat is not food. Yeah. And so once you live on that, uh, the body is in disease because it needs vitamins and it needs nutrients that it's just not getting because there's no nutrients in donuts. Yeah. There's no <laughs> nutrients in hot wings like there's in the chicken, but then you fried it yeah. and then you put a whole bunch of sauce on it. That's the, the only thing I miss. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's the only, right. being, so, being the only like, thing and I miss. The, the diet is is, is the only thing. It's the crucial thing. So you just give your body what it needs, mm -hmm. the food, the water, the sleep, um, so that it can put itself back into repair mm -hmm. and be as smooth and the best body as it can be. So that's really where the diet um, focus comes from. And of all the medicines that I take, I've on three, four different meds and switched them. And the best thing that makes me feel like a person day to day and be able to hit marks and say lines with famous people is the food. Yeah, because with MS, I mean, they're not exactly sure why it occurs. And they, they know it can be some environmental they factors, but they're not know. sure, right? Yeah. That could, could you imagine, yeah. like, we have something where the person that knows, supposed to know everything kind of looks at you like, mm. I don't know. Yeah. yeah you know, I, don't, I don't know what's wrong with you. But that's, a, that's a crazy part of our medicine, though, because we think we're so advanced, but we still have these diseases that are, like, wide range enough that we know about them. Yeah. But we have no idea why they're occurring. And, and it could be very well environmental factors that do improve oh, or make to, it worse. It has yeah. to be the environmental and, and, and the food because a lot of things, too, some stuff are not FDA approved, but you can still buy them on the shelves. Yeah. And, you know, just the, how we cook food, where we get the food. Like, you know, gone are the days where, like, you know, your parents have a garden in the back because people don't own, own homes. Yeah. So it's like all those little things that make a huge difference and they're not staying on top of that. Like to grow the chicken to double the size, they haven't done enough of the history, enough of the um, study to find out. Basically, and yeah. the soil doesn't have the same nutrients because yeah. not only do they not rotate the crops, they have to grow these crops year round mm -hmm. to feed the people, then feed the populace. So, yeah. like, there's a lot of things that we eat that aren't really food or yeah. don't have the nutritional value, the value that the cells in our body, the seven trillion cells in our body need to just be normal. Mm -hmm. so, wait, so what did you change specifically with your diet? And how quickly did you change it? Like how tough was that transition? Oh yeah, like when I was on bed rest for 14 weeks because mm. my spinal tap didn't heal properly. Wow, that also yeah. gives you time to sort of really think about things and reconfigure your life from the ground up. Yeah. Because you've done nothing but use the bathroom and sleep for 14 days wow. straight. Yeah. So, uh, there's the Walls Protocol is a book that I found because a doctor, you know, medical, when medical doctors sort of learn that things on their own mm -hmm. by being so sick that they just read every book yeah. because they figure, look, I'm a doctor, bro. There's no way that I can't doctor this situation. Mm -hmm. And they read everything and they come out saying the same thing. Stop eating this. Eat this. Go to sleep. Yeah. You'll be all right. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so, that's where you know no sugar no gluten no dairy instantly so, so instantly just came so in. during that 14 days you made that decision 
Oh yeah. yeah, like during that fourteen days, I was looking around to what to find, and once mm. I found it, yeah. I just read it all. And then once I was reading it, that's me going through the pages. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then um, I read it, and I was like, "Oh, this is simple. This makes sense. Like scientifically, this makes sense. Like we are um, smart enough to know how and why. Right. We just have to make the choices how and why. And it's sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do. Well, it's so basic. Like think about it. Like all that stuff you said." at one point was a luxury. Yeah. Like candy was a luxury. Not you go to the dollar, st- dollar store and you get like, you know, $10 worth of candy and you eat, finish it in an hour. Yeah. So like y- now you have the addictive stuff. Like I'm yep. even experiencing, like I just went off the sugar again. And it's just like, you realize, I know it's, <laughs> you realize, you know, how like how much your, your mental is like, oh my God, and we get free free candy at work. It's like, oh my God, like yeah. why I want to get some, but there's no reason to do that. Correct. But if we all stopped, having that and treat it as more of, oh yeah, we have it on Thanksgiving, how we would change yeah. is crazy. It's so simple, but. It's yeah. like having these tiny little crack vials everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like if crack was legal, then, <laughs> you know, I don't think everybody will be smoking crack. Some people would still smoke crack, mm-hmm. believe that. But people will be like, no, I don't need that. You know, keep it moving. Yeah. But. The candy tastes good. It just yeah. doesn't kill you right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just doesn't mess you up right now at this yeah. moment. Yeah. Like crack does. So oh. that's the main major difference. Mm-hmm. But this stuff, you just, it's simple to eat. It's cheap. Mm-hmm. Just like crack. <laughs> and you can get it everywhere. Everywhere. And just like crack. Mm-hmm. But have you found that your your symptoms and I guess the way you were feeling with the MS, and and, and I, so I have so many questions about this, but how did you even... Did it get better, A, those symptoms that you were experiencing through the diet? How long did it take? Mm-hmm. And how long did it take for you to find diagnosis? Because I know MS is one of those diseases that's very tough because there's so many symptoms that don't quite, you know, yeah. they can't yeah. put together. You know, we can, like, look back and be like, maybe years ago this was started happening, mm-hmm. even yeah. before you moved to L.A. type of stuff. Um, but in the past, like, year or so, it's just, I, I, I'm a high-energy guy, yeah? yeah? Really? So I would, yeah. Okay. Uh, you? So mm-hmm. I, would, I would do music videos, uh-huh. and I'd be wiped. I just yeah. would have no energy, like, on the floor, like, mm-hmm. yo, something's wrong. And yeah. one day I took a walk around the block with my wife, and uh, yeah, I went to take, take my shoes off, and I fell. And I felt like I was trying to sit in his chair, yeah. and I was on the floor. Oh, and she was like, nah, something's really wrong with yeah. you. We're going to, to the yeah. ur- urgent care. So, you know, they're like, you're fine, but you're not fine, just like three different doctors mm-hmm. said. Yeah. And then um, you get an MRI. And I got an MRI, and it was like, this guy's fine. He's fine this, fine that. Oh, he totally has multiple sclerosis. Wow. So go get a neurologist and figure that out. Yeah. And the switch from, and once I switched from regular food to just no sugar, no gluten, no dairy, yeah. energy increases, mm-hmm. sort of the fog that you have from everyday life, mm-hmm. gone. Yeah. And so that was one thing where I was like, huh. Okay, and then I sort of cut out oils well after that, and then the energy came back in a different way. So I was like, man, do I really have to do this and just (laughs) order special meals on flights and just know when I'm out and about and traveling that I won't be able to access the stuff that I need? Mm -hmm. And just let me just eat the stuff so I'm not hungry. But when I'm back at home, don't eat, don't mess with any of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's my life. Wow. <laughs> well, I, I, hats off to you on that one, you know. Sir, that, those are some you. major changes. Well, so, I, I yeah. mean, I don't think he has a choice. No, <laughs> no, but he does. No, but, he, no, but I was about to say. I think I, he does. He does have a choice. People make that choice, the opposite choice every day. It's, it's pretty... Um, when, personally, yeah. when I don't eat in, in this way, I can't walk straight. Yeah. My legs don't really work so well. Um, my vision, my vision shakes. Mm-hmm. Um, I just feel sort of low energy. So it doesn't really do the same thing. Yeah. But it, uh, food, the yeah. food doesn't do the same thing like it, it, it would in another day. Mm-hmm. But all the stuff that's not good for me is so easy. It's readily available. Yeah. It's real clothes. Mm-hmm. It's cheap. So mm-hmm. it's yeah, that can be a big hurdle to get over. Right. Be like, yo, I really don't want to not be able to walk straight, but this cheeseburger and fries 
that tastes good right yeah. now. Yeah, and yeah, then I th- you see people with chronic conditions that they know would be helped by. Mm-hmm. I mean, just obesity is a chronic condition. Yep. But you know, they still make the choice to have the sort of bad foods they know will eventually kill them. Right. But I think with the obesity, it's just kind of one of those things where they're so used to being in that state, where yeah. it it feels like you are a high energy person and you're so used to being high energy where you it's like to get back you to make that. the choice of do I be essentially you know not doing anything which it seems like it'll drive you crazy it's, or yeah. do, do I do something yeah. well I'm an active person for my job I don't work a desk job mm-hmm. yeah. I work a job where it's like here stand there hold that dog um say these words uh now you know what do it again mm-hmm. do it again do it again. So, so I, have I, I, yeah. I have to. Otherwise, I'll have to get another job. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't really want another uh, job. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, speaking of our, our own Maria Menounos, uh, she's actually hit a milestone with overcoming her own battles. Mm-hmm. And I believe TK has a word from Maria. Oh, uh, yeah. It looks like I do. <laughs> want to have fun, learn, and grow in all areas of your life? She should have you on her show. Yeah. For those who do have, we got the podcast for you. Conversations with Maria Menounos. Hey, crew. <laughs> podcast edition is hosted by our AfterBuzz TV founder and drops every Friday on iTunes. Conversations with Maria Menounos features celebrities and influencer interviews along with secrets and tips on how to better... Uh, how to be better in all aspects of your life. Yeah, we should definitely... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, for, yeah. health, for health and wellness, there you go, to career, relationships, finances, and more. You're married. Uh, let our Maria be the big sister you've always wanted. Just go to iTunes and subscribe to Conversations with Maria Menounos for free. Be sure to rate and comment. And when you do, let Maria know that we... Yeah. Yes, Fit Club. <laughs> sent you. Conversations with Maria Menounos Podcast Edition. Check it out. Yeah, I want I want to subscribe yeah. to that podcast right now. It, it, it's awesome. It's like you get it's like a master class of just different people mm-hmm. um, yeah. that are experts and awesome people to hear from. So Okay. Uh, definitely want to tune into Conversations with Maria. Yeah, I removed the app from my telephone. So <laughs> and I downloaded it for this. <laughs> and they were like, Oh, okay, this is cool. And now there's some of this yeah, other one. So I'm like, yeah, I yeah. want to do Podcasts are the new thing, you know. Okay. So, oh yeah, it's like another version of this. Is essentially, they're so good now. It's just like yeah. TV. Yeah, it's like another, another like valid stream of uh, yeah. entertainment media. I mean, I watch Breakfast Club almost every day. Uh, yeah. Every morning. Who so, knew the thing that uh, Mark Marone, that comedian, was doing? Just so he didn't kill himself one day, and like like literally, yeah. he was like, "Oh, fine, I'll start a podcast." Boom. And then boom. And that has kind of sort of been the model mm-hmm. for this digital age. And Obama. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get with the times, old man. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking about getting with the times, uh, we just got a study. Uh, that dude, segue. Yeah. He, oh, well, he, he segue like a pro. He's, he's a, a pro. He's you know, just like, yo, just, I'm yeah. shocked. I know how to segue. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, they, well, now they're doing football with seniors, football nutritional <laughs> guidance <laughs> with seniors 55 to 70. Uh, so, you know, you can learn some new tricks, uh-huh. um, which, which was so counterintuitive, though, because you, you think to yourself, I'm not going to have seniors play football of any sort. I didn't mm-hmm. want the word associated with them right. to make them healthy. <laughs> but these are football drills. They're not going out there tackling each other. Uh-huh. Um, so between, I would like to see them tackle, though. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> you know, we saw that Betty White promo yeah, years ago. Yeah, like, you know, <laughs> them going after each other. So, you know, it's it's even. Um, but they did found for, um, for seniors 55 to 70 that were especially pre-diabetic, um, football with the dietary guidance improved their health. Uh, one of the interesting things about the health was the increase in food, in, health, in healthy food, mm-hmm. um, that's important for overall longevity. Oh, yeah. Um, but just decreasing the junk food but not increasing the healthy food is mm-hmm. not great. And just in, and increasing the junk food while increasing the healthy food doesn't help you either. Mm-hmm. So it needs to be a reduction of the junk food in conjunction with an increase of the healthy yes. food. Like stop eating junk, Yeah. eat food, with nutrients that the mitochondria in your seven trillion cells in your body can use for energy so that they can just be healthy. Mm -hmm. It's really, really basic. And you're supplying the batteries of your cells the, the, the stuff that they need to go. That's it. And, and how, how long did it take you even just to, to get this sort of expertise? Because you had to become an overnight expert, essentially. Yes. But 
there's so much information material out there. How long did it take you to kind of navigate through the waters? About a year or so, and I'm still trying to figure out the whole don't eat oil thing mm -hmm. and yeah. come up with concise bullet points for that particular thing. Yeah. Um, but once I get that under my hand, bro, I'll just be running out here like you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm the dude. Thirst, thirst trapping, thirst trapping on the ground. <laughs> but, well, once the wife approves, though, you can't just be thirst trapping. Oh, yeah, right, you can't yeah. just you be know, putting come, it out there. Come on, son. <laughs> <laughs> but but that but getting those concise bullet points even though but that's for you though because yeah. how have you done was taking inf information and applying it directly to your life because some information is good but not yeah. necessarily good for you mm -hmm. trial and error my man it's just sort of you're just like look I heard that this thing and you eat it and wow whatever mm -hmm. and you do it for about a week and you're like all right well that's fine and I f what what is the difference in me that I feel. Is there a difference? Is, there, is, is it a positive? Is it a negative? Or is there none? All of the things that I would try um, either markedly gave me improvement, gave me market improvements, yeah. or just didn't really do anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or um, when you add the other stuff back in, you feel what specifically is wrong. This, you know, if I drink milk, oh, my legs, my knees feel differently. Oh, it's harder to walk. Oh, like once you sort of get mm -hmm. what ex precisely the cons are, yeah. um, the pros are simple. It's it's a simple thing to, to just bring into your lifestyle. So, so with the football, I think it was probably surprising to the seniors and surprising to us hearing about it. Was there anything that surprised you that worked? Oh, oh that's, that's a very good question. Oh, the oil. Yeah. Cooking without oil yeah. and how much better I feel. So what do you cook with? Sorry. You just steam it, bro. Yeah. Wait, so I mean, so you give me an example See? of food that you would normally cook with oil that you somehow did differently. Any vegetable. You would just put oil on it, salt, and roast it and put it in the... Uh, oh, that kind of, I'm saying like something I would put in a skillet with some oil. Yeah. Oh, um, so I don't know. So, I was I gonna, you know, so wait, so anymore. when you put it, so you're not putting any oil in it, whatever, you just put it in this, like, just. Yeah, just um, put a pot of water on it and then yeah. put the colander on the mm -hmm. thing and yeah. then put the top on that sucker. And mm -hmm. when is, when is, after it's boiling temperature, do that for like three minutes because it, the cooking time is shorter as mm -hmm. well. Um, and the cleanup is simpler because you just dump some water and clean the pot and you're right. done. So you, do you, you never saute like veggies or tofu or stuff in saute the pan? Saute them? Just nah, steam them. Oh, and that's okay. it. And I'm allergic to soy. And MS is really? like, oh yeah, is an inflammatory disease. So yeah. I eschew inflammation oh, yeah, like course. it's the devil. Yeah. Like, loose me devil. Like, I do not mess with things that I know are inflammatory. Right. So, so what are your top, like, what are, what are your foods that you're eating? Your top, like, five? Mm, so I'm like, you know, like, what right? do you eat? <laughs> no dairy, no blue, no oil, no soy. Uh, it's like, if are you can't saute <laughs> the vegetables, what are you doing, God damn it? <laughs> I've heard of Britharian, so I'm like, are you a Britharian? Seriously. Just living up there? <laughs> no, no, bro. Collard green is my jam. There's um, veggie burgers that are that are made with no oil, mm -hmm. with rice and stuff. Yeah. You've seen the rice. That's cool. Ice. Um, um, I, ice is great, <laughs> but actually, you know, Chinese medicine, like if anything's too cold, your body has to warm it up before yeah. it processes yeah. it, and that's more energy and whatever. But what what I what I brought today's lunch as I went around went, went around the town today to audition mm -hmm. to see other casting directors and do this actor thing that I do. Um, what's in there? There's rice. There's like a veggie burger with all the vegetables that I'm not allergic to. Um, collard greens, uh, beets. And yeah, I think that's I pretty beets much are really it. good too. Yeah, okay, beets, yeah. Be wow. beets fully colored all the way through. Vegetables have um, a list of nutrients and other sort of yeah, properties uh, that your cells need to just be regular cells. What is it? Home homeopathic? Homeopathic. Yeah. So yeah, um, whatever the name is for that person. Before I moved here, she had me cutting up the beets and I would have it every day, and yeah. I felt amazing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's it's and the thing too with the seniors in the football. Um, what you have to realize that what you were talking about before the show, before the show started, is like they're getting older. Yeah. So they're gonna have to eat according to like we can't eat like when we were teenagers, have a pizza and then go out for a mile yeah. run. Right. So they have to, and if they're gonna be doing these drills. And the thing that was good for them with the football is when you get to a certain age, even like in your mid thirties, but particularly in your fifties, you start to really lose a lot of muscle. Is so seniors fifty. 
Uh, well, they said 55 to 70. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking so, like 80. So, but, right? That's nah, my, nah, that's nah, my nah, imagination. You've been, you've been late. Yeah, 55 to you 70. You might not yeah. make it to, <laughs> to yeah, yeah. 6 to 7. I think, yeah, what are you going to ARP? 73. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I was literally thinking like 80-year-old just doing those, uh, no, doing the ladder drills. But even 55 doing ladder drills. Mm -hmm. But for them, it was super important because when you get older, even when you get on a good diet, because you're losing muscle, you're going to lose even more muscle. Mm -hmm. So the football was so good because they were maintaining or growing muscle mm -hmm. while losing the weight. Right. So as we get older, even though we eat well, uh, that's not enough because we yeah. don't want to waste the muscle either. Right. right. Well, I mean, if you could just take a look at somebody who, um, more of the people who haven't had the athletic life, mm. how they, and, and they just go to the gym yeah. and they just do the treadmill. And it's like, okay, that's, that's great. At least you're doing that. But like all the other things that are, that's out there, and I know LA is a different, you know, thing compared to a lot of other places, but all the other things that are out there, like with the track or yeah. all this other stuff that you can do, that would be beneficial because it's different yeah. versus just, you know, reading a book on, on the, the elliptical m machine. So, I mean, it's... Well, talking about some of the differences, we got uh, Equinox, and I guess, I mean, Equinox is big, LA, New York, all mm -hmm. around. They're not doing sleep coaching. Um, and Ooh. sleep coaching, and they're actually, I mean, we all know you get better sleep, you're gonna perform better athletically, mm -hmm. but they found um, the metabolic threshold improved for, the, for a group of people that went through the sleep coaching by 29.8% versus 16.2%. <laughs> I see what you did there. That boy good. That man good. Yeah, he's the pro. Just, you know, just trying to get it in where it can get in. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I didn't know it was such a huge difference. That's like yes. double the metabolic threshold. Yes. Uh, I mean, I'm really poor with sleep. I know, how have you managed sleep? And I, MS can disrupt the sleep. Yes. So I have a thing where I wake up at four o'clock, like clockwork, because of this MS. Like mm -hmm. I'm talking, like I can get on a flight to Japan, and we're sleeping, and at four o'clock in the morning, I'll wake up, even wow. though I just went through Wait, thirty times. Pain, or you just like something? No, the, the body wakes up. Wow, yeah. I don't know, not know why. So it's like a full wake up, or like a groggy wake up, like you can go back to sleep. Nah, it's one of these. Like if you hear, it's like. <sighs> And, and then you have to go and do something? You got maybe got to go use the restroom. Uh, um, or then you're just like, all right, we're cool. Close your eyes, and then hopefully you'll get back to Wait, sleep. so is that a problem, or is it kind of a good thing? Every single day, no matter what time uh, I go to uh, bed, yeah. I wake up <laughs> at 4 o'clock in the morning. So on a, yeah, on that's balance, a problem, no, bro. not a great It's thing. a problem. <laughs> okay. I don't like you. Because I was just thinking, like, maybe that's not the worst thing. I know. <laughs> it's just like, what? But I mean, no. it's on the yeah. diet every day. But every the, day, With yeah. the sleep thing, shout out to Garmin. Um, it actually it actually tracks well my, my watch grab the Viva that's very I'll, I'll take another one if you see okay it. um it actually tracks your sleep yeah. so when I first yep. got it um I was getting about five hours of sleep yep. but in that five hours it showed me how much REM sleep I was getting versus um versus like just light sleep yeah. deep sleep light sleep do you, do you use a sleep counter as well I got a Fitbit on oh, baby oh, Fitbit gotcha. versus yeah. if y'all want to send me some Fitbit versus or any other well, accessories I holla at your boy panel without a I know I don't know why you I don't know why you don't have one it's actually really great in tracking me cuz you can kind of see because what I noticed yeah now, because you know, if you're a conscious person, obviously you work out and all this other stuff. If you're a conscious person, it's like all aspects of your life. So now, all the little things, like as far as not watching TV or just kind of like slowly graduating to it, now my REM sleep has gotten a little bit longer since I've been tracking it. So then, now I'm able to do like sleep for four hours, but you know, out of those four hours, two might be REM sleep. And yeah, four hours is not the greatest thing, but I can know, you know, I can track like, okay, this is what's happening. Yeah, I'm Deep. playing with the idea of mentally starting to track things, um, especially sleep in particular. Yeah. But in general, I've always not wanted to track stuff because it gets me into a space or a, a more negative space while mm. I'm tracking stuff, like to try to be per perfect and fit that number uh, exactly. That's and, negative? And for me, I, it gets me too caught up in it. Oh. You already you know I mean? doing a lot. I guess so, I'm negative then. So, okay. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, I it, need no, to. In his no, brain. No, no, no. For me, yeah. For you, it's yeah. great. Yeah, because my perfectionist mind can't get out of not, not sticking to that number and feeling like I failed if oh, I don't. Gotcha. And then, uh, so it gets yeah. into the day. Yeah, it's maybe, all, it's maybe, hard yeah. being maybe, you, man. Yeah, I know. But the thing is, I've always known that, so I just don't bother tracking. So, yeah. Fair enough. Well, I mean, I don't know. But sleep is one of those things I'm like thinking I should track because 
I have no way to even instinctively kind of know how much REM sleep. Yeah, maybe I'm you don't. Maybe you don't want to get the watch because the watch has a lot of lot of tracking stuff. Yeah, I don't want all so that. So probably, you, I think your phone your phone has a tracking thing where you tell what where um your you let the phone know or the phone actually this phone is actually smart enough now it knows when you go to bed because you're not as active. Uh, yeah. So if you notice your phone, oh, like Insta well, Instagram knows. Instagram's well, yeah. like hey, you active. <laughs> when you been I know, right? What type of phone you have? The iPhone or yeah, the iPhone? I don't know what they do on iPhones, but the Samsung, for instance, they won't. Um, um, they'll literally stop like all your notifications and stuff like that. They'll stop making the sound automatically. Oh, yeah. Oh, I need to get yeah. me some of that. Okay. So like it knows it trades. It, it probably knows now what like what my patterns are. Yeah. But usually when you get it, the moment you're stuck, you're um, not inactive for a period of time. You don't get those notifications. Wow. And then usually, because I get up at like four or five in the morning, that's when mm. the no no notifications start kind of popping up again. Wow. So I you the difference that you feel with more than six and a half hours of quality sleep is so significant that you will not be able to comprehend it until you do it for yourself mm -hmm. a few times over and then you're like, oh, that. yeah, this is what I'm missing out on right. yeah. if I don't get that seven hours. That's that one area have, I need to really It doesn't have on, to be yeah. seven or eight hours of sleep. It's more of the quality of sleep that it you should, get. It should, yeah. be, it should be seven. Well, I mean. Seven, mm, I'm just saying. I'm just, this is the sick man is being like, no, go, go to bed, girl. Well, I'm Not just, you, I'm I'm just, just like, go to bed. <laughs> I'm just saying it depends on the, the quality of sleep that quality of sleep that you have. So if you have five hours well, of sleep. Well, some people can get their bodies to get maximum right. amount of, like more REM in a short amount of time. Right. That's like your so, sleep training. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, those people? Oh, yeah, I mean, like one guy didn't go to sleep. He, I want to say he slept for 15 yeah. minutes or 30 minutes every four hours. But after the first couple oh, yeah, we of weeks, that. Yeah. he was able to get his body to go into immediate REM the minute he hit that 30 minutes and then he wasn't tired anymore. What kind of hack and stuff is yeah. this? And it depends yeah. too on how you were, like how how long you've been, because for instance, I've normally six hours, five to six hours has been my norm since I was in like high school, probably before that. Mm. My mom used to wake us up at yeah. six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So, yeah. That's my, so that's my normal. So for me, it's more about the quality of sleep and I found it's, the, how my mind, my mind is active. So I literally start shutting off my mind, like the stuff that I'm doing. Like yeah. I don't do emails, I don't do all that stuff. And I literally try to like just not do anything and then go to sleep, which now my REM has gotten longer and the because thing is, of that. And the thing is we're all on an average, but uh, what some people don't know is genetically, some people can actually get the same quality sleep in less time. I mean, it's more rare. Yeah. But some people can get four hours sleep and feel the exact same as someone who got seven or eight. Yeah. But like, so you did a study, but, with, just, yeah, but that's more rare. Yeah, it's just, it's just testing your body, knowing like yeah. what foods work for you. Like for instance, when I went uh, vegetarian vegan, I felt a hundred times better. Whoa, but I know people- why, why do you keep saying vegetarian vegan? Because I do- What, what, what you eating? We already discussed this. Because I already sometimes do some non-vegan stuff. Oh, like I don't really okay. mess with the uh, vegan okay. cheese. I'm not uh, not about that life. What okay. is that I vegan cheese? I just started slipping in the vegetarian before you like vegan. And now I'm hearing. Well, little, I mean, do you have a, do you have I don't want somebody coming up to me. It's like I thought you was vegan. Yo. and they watch me eating, eating like a. I a didn't know I was beef. in the middle of something right now. There's some vegan beef right here, yeah. right now, son. <laughs> vegan beef. So I'm, yeah. so I'm saying, people like my body feels better not eating like chicken and stuff like that. Even though I miss chicken wings, but some people can go with the meat and they feel fine. Yeah, yeah. And their body doesn't react to it so mm -hmm. it's like everybody's body is different and I think that's what people have to do their initial first is to get healthy and to start working out and then once they get in tune with their body then kind of start testing what works for them and what doesn't work for them yeah. everything sleeps bro like the shark sleep the roach sleeps yeah. the flea sleeps so don't begrudge yourself good quality sleep. Yeah. It will make you a better person mm -hmm. because whatever needs to just shut down for a little bit, have some rest, and recuperate, and then become a, more of you again in the morning. Yeah. There's cycles to this thing. It's light side of the planet, dark side of the planet. And you just try to keep it on the light side yeah. or the, the the most of your life is like, no, you're going to have to turn that over, but mm -hmm. we, yeah. we need that right now. Might catch up to you later. Too. Okay. Yeah. And you look all start looking all old and well, stuff. Well, I mean, black people well, don't do yeah. that. And black don't cry, but that's something else. Black people don't uh, go to sleep either because they're working like two, three jobs. This is true. So <laughs> oh, oh, we, we got to have to work it out. We're going to have to work it out. We are going to bed 930, my Nubian but people. Here, here's, mm. the, here's the sad part. <laughs> uh, here's the sad part. 
<laughs> the, sad, the saddest part in our last story is a lot of the things that we do to think counteract some of these things we get from lack of sleep. We try to take vitamins, and we think we take vitamin A, we take vitamin B, we take vitamin C. We're going to extend our life. Um, but our last story of the day, Go to sleep. new study came out that basically said these vitamins don't do anything for um, to prevent premature death. No. Um, not stroke, not cardiovascular disease, or heart attacks. No. You know, they say that vitamin C may help with colds, and they may help with different illnesses while you're alive, but in terms of actually extending your life, no, they're no. Um, yeah. not uh, efficacious. And we're looking at vitamin D, calcium, um, vitamin C, A, B, B6. Um, so basically all the ones you see in that multivitamin. Right. Mm -hmm. Which you can all get from yeah. food. So what you can get from food. So, so be aware More that, bio-ready yeah. bio and bio-available yeah. mm -hmm. from food. You're not extending your life. No. But are there any vitamins or supplements that you have been like, that is my go-to? Like that is, if I could only pick one to two, this is what helps me overall with the quality of life. It would certainly be um, turmeric. Oh, I just throw those in jams I'm big down. Fan, yeah, big fan. And magnesium, whether it's a magnesium drink, um, those are the magnesium just calm it down. Okay. Good. I just feel this calm. With the turmeric, is it a uh, pill form or is it powder form? The turmeric uh, powders. Because I feel the powder is a little bit. Oh uh, no, pills. No, I'm sorry. I do the, It's a pill. It's a powder in the pill. In the pill. Uh, okay. But I do a lot of curry. Curry, turmeric. Yeah. Turmeric, so that's I, what, that's what I'm saying. It too. seems like the stuff that you said is still like natural. Like you could pull it and they just kind of create the powder. Whereas yeah. something like a um, like a vitamin D, they kind of do a combination of they stuff that's yeah, yeah. synthetic. Made, yeah. 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 So they have to the make a thing. Yeah. 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 Turmeric is actually you could just get yeah. it from the. <laughs> point. Yeah, you get it from the store and let you spray it on. Like you even break it down on some other level. Like there's evolution and stuff. Stuff, but like you, we have our we have not evolved beyond the thing that's still in the cave, frankly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as much as we have the internet and can fly to Japan in, in twelve hours, bruh, you're still pretty much in the cave. Yeah. What are you eating a fried thing for? Because mm -hmm. the body, the the cells are like, I don't know how to process yeah, this. Yeah, we're still I that don't know same. What to do. Yeah. The body doesn't know what to do with it, man. And so you just give them things that they can't use, and then over time the uh, deficit, the nutritional deficit begins to build up and then the disease sets mm -hmm. in. Because the body's always going to correct. Yeah. It's uh, like, you know, I'm, I would love to be like, like Shaka Strong, mm -hmm. but this is how I'm built. Mm -hmm. So I just give myself the stuff to sort of be like this and so to not have nutritional deficits, to not have sleep mm -hmm. deficits, to not have deficits in general so that the body can just be what it is. And that's good. We're trying to add vitamins and, oh, like, oh, I can eat this. I can eat poorly, but... I uh, excuse me, I'm just my close. Yeah, excuse me. I can eat poorly, but I put, I bought this set of vitamins, and I think and yeah, I we can supplement in, with that. And yeah. like, no, bro, it doesn't work that way. We bro. fall into that culture mm -hmm. of thinking this will undo that, yeah. rather no. than thinking of the body, the everything holistically. Now, is there yeah. anything since you discovered that you had? It's it's considered a disease, right? Oh, it's okay. absolutely. So a disease. since you discovered that you had the disease, disease. Is, do you look back at your life and look at like? Um, have you like looked back as like, well, maybe this kind of either eating or lifestyle yeah. could possibly have caused it? Or yeah. are you like, I have no idea what... what yeah, no, I, I think about that sometimes. Like, maybe I should have went to bed a lot earlier in my 20s. Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, I shouldn't have... I, I don't... Yeah, I didn't that just that poorly That anyway. just leads to, like, depression, right? Yeah, you can't, yeah. You can't be yeah. like, well, sure, if I just... Said, <laughs> I stayed in that night. I might tell my mom gonna go out. Like well, that it's, type of stuff. Well, no, it's I, true. I mean, I mean, I think you look back. I mean, if you're introspective, I think sometimes you might be able to connect certain things. Like it yeah. might have been like every night you had a glass of wine, and the yeah. wine might not have yeah. been, you know, that wine might have been the thing. It might yeah. might not have been the thing for somebody else, but it might have been the right. thing for you. Or you know, yeah. it could have been a certain food, or yeah. you could have just because it seems like. I, well, I don't know. I just think it's so hard because you'll never get like an answer to that. Like right. if you were smoking, and be like, okay, I shouldn't smoke. You know, right. Like emphysema. <laughs> right. But I think it's just so hard with MS because you, you'll never unless you know some new right. study breaks out. It's just so tough. Look, yeah. They say there's no cure and like it's real that there's no, bing, and you're good. But Mon Montel Montel Williams got MS. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He and got been, MS. And he went vegan a long time ago. But right? he ain't yeah. curved. Yeah. He'll tell you right but, now. But he's still being able to treat it, and he's done it for how he's done it for like 20 he's, years. He's had that since we was young. Yeah. He's had yeah. that since like I was 10. 12. Yeah. But he's I mean he's. I mean, I don't know if you're balling like Montel, but Montel. No, but, but, oh, no. but he, but he, but remember, he's he like ma not Magic Johnson money, but he got some. But I, but he's not Magic Johnson money. Not not like Magic, but he got some but money. Saying, but he's it's still, the, it's still MS is one of those things, though. It's not the money doesn't really help that much because it's still like a rare disease. So right. like, 
it, it's it's getting money for people to pay attention and research it more. Yeah. That's really t it's not like there's things out there that are magical cures mm -hmm. you can just pay for. Well, I'm willing yeah. to bet there's certain tests that he might have access to, or certain um, be, to supplements or things that he might have access to that the regular person might Maybe not. Because yeah, yeah, that's the same thing know. that happened with magic. Like I, I feel like if you're on a certain platform, you have that type of money. Yeah. You might have knowledge of some study in Timbuktu that you can mm, fly to. Right. Well, no, no, no. I, I agree, but I think I think, and especially why you're so great at this is because MS doesn't get that sort of like you know HIV. Every, all hands was on deck. Yeah. Like yeah. Everybody was like, let's throw yeah. everything to this. Yeah. Um, so it's great because like, things about only four hundred thousand people are currently diagnosed with mm -hmm. MS. Yeah. Um, so kind of providing a platform for this rare disease is amazing. Yeah. So we're, we're so glad to have you on World MS Day. Oh, dude, it's great to be here. Like, it, thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Being a black man with multiple sclerosis, wow, like yeah. le less than half of the people with MS are men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then less than half of them, about 25, like 15% of people overall mm -hmm. with MS are black men. So it's yeah. you and Montel Joy. So yeah. that me, Montel William, um, that guy from that '70s show, like no, actually. Oh, I was like, who? <laughs> no, 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 I couldn't think of. I was black guy in '70s. I couldn't think of any other famous people with the disease. But bottom line, yeah. is if you look at across, across the broad swath of things. I'm not supposed to have things. I'm supposed to have this. I'm yeah. supposed to have diabetes right. or blood sugar or like whatever. My blood pressure is mm. very low because I don't eat any meat and oil. Mm. Yeah. And when I s switch from oil, um, switch from eating oil, my blood pressure even went even more down. So there's all of these things that, that sort of you're not predisposed to when you sort of look back on it. But... It stinks having MS, but I, I I appreciate the changes in my life that I've had to do because of it, mm -hmm. and all, uh, really being someone that the MS community can sort of point to and be like, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna switch and, and change yeah. my stuff. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna get going because he's doing. It. I see yeah, him on TV with a dog and Elizabeth Banks. Yeah, I say keep it up, man, because I think you're inspiring a lot of kids with MS, kids without MS who are dealing with their own rare disease. So mm -hmm. I think you're you're really uh, helping those that, those people out. So I amazing. hope so. I'm just trying to deal. Yeah. It's therapy for me, man, because this stuff is tough. Well, thank you for joining us, man. We're, we're happy to be a part of the therapy. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. As always, guys, my name is Shaka Smith. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Shaka Strong. Were you always introducing yourself as Shaka Smith? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All of the people that know me know me as Chuck Strong. Chuck Strong. Chuck you Strong. can find me on everything at TK Trinidad. You can also find me on TMZ. We have Women's Pro, Pro Wrestling Weekly, Jerry White People, uh, Total Bellas. Just follow me on my social. You'll get all the tea at TK Trinidad. Instagram, Damian Washington. Twitter, DDoes57. DamianWashington.com. Holler at your boy. <laughs> Come back in an hour for Queen Sugar on After Buzz. <laughs> See you guys. From executives Kevin Undergaro, Dario Kristen, Tiana Hobson, and the entire BHL staff, we would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us. Info at BlackHollywoodLive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I am the official voice of Black Hollywood Live, Scipio. Instagram me at KingXOBay. Thanks for tuning in. Hollywood Redefined. Redefined. The views expressed here are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals.